Let's get something straight. You're going to hear this from me one fucking time. I was born a nice kid. Somewhere along the line, I lost my fucking way. Because all the crazy. He, he kidnapped a drug dealer with a machine gun. Fire. Wow. Yeah. No, Joey Diaz did real time. Somewhere along the line, when you suffer a traumatic experience when you're a young man, you stay stuck for a few years. Is, uh, but he's a uniquely beautiful soul. And even though I knew all that shit that he did real time and everything, I knew, I'm like, I know what you are. I know what you are. <laughs> you're a great guy who just had a crazy life. You know, when you suffer a dad or a mom or a grandmother you were tight with, you get stalled for a couple of years. I'm not making excuses. It's, it's, these are all proven things. You gotta read this shit. Yeah. Like a wild dude from the streets, but like a good dude. Yeah. Like I knew he was a good, like a good solid dude. You just don't grow until right. the reality comes to you of what happened. You're still in shock when your mom dies or your father dies. And somewhere along the line, I went off the rails. And I'm sorry for that. Looking for the kitchen, I didn't see it by the dish by the dishes, but when I looked down, she was on the floor dead. Her arm was purple. House at night. I slept in a rocket ship for a month outside at a park. You go to a park and see those rocket ships and your kids play on them. I still remember going up to the third floor of the rocket ship, finishing off my coke and jerking off on the third floor at five in the morning outside in a fucking park with leaves around me and shit. You, you look at your life and you think of, uh, the opportunities and how they pop so up. Fucking God took away my mother. God did this. This is all God's fault because it's the, the same God that I was raised to believe that was going to help me is doing all this. A lot of times I wanted to fucking do a swan dive, but I didn't. I get out of prison. I get a job. I, I become a good roofer. I become an estimator. The whole time wanted to do comedy, but not having the balls to even. Consider it. I used to always be a man with stress. I, I can't explain to you how hard it is to live your life and want to do something, but you're so fucking scared. Like I was in prison, I had my mother, I had nothing going on. I was a thief and I had nothing going on. I'm finally married and I got a little baby and I fucking got everything going, but I fucking wanted to do comedy in the worst fucking way. And I didn't know a how or a how. But let's cut this shit. I was just such a fucking pussy. I'll tell you this from experience. Half the stuff that goes through our head isn't even important. I ask questions. Why? How? How come? You know, one day I was like, what does it matter? Because in our minds, we have to fucking do something. We love being somewhere in a certain fucking space and time. And for some people, they love the fucking drama. And if they don't have drama, they add to the fucking drama. There's so many unnecessary things we as Americans think about and worry about that they don't affect our life in any way. But for some reason, we think that affects us. What right. am I going to be doing in 10 years? And next thing you know, I'm pacing and I'm fucking crying. And I'm, <laughs> yep. I'm 21. What the fuck do you need to worry about 10 years, 3 years, 5 years, or 2 years? Just worry about your plan for the next 6 months at 21. And once I did that, I started making little strides. So if you're young right now and you're listening to this, let me tell you something. If you're fucking confused and you really don't know, try it. Yeah. Try the service because let me tell you something, guys. 20 years goes by quick. Falls in your court. No more around. You want your life to be better? I can't help you. They can't help you. Joe Rogan can't help you. Ari can't help you. God can't help you. Only you can help you. Grab your fucking balls, get a fucking notebook, and write down what the fuck you're gonna do this year. Fuck the drugs, fuck the cigarettes, fuck that bitch. It all starts fucking today, all right? No more fucking excuses. That's the fucking, this is the year of the fucking soldier. Wake up, cocksuckers, it's over. When I wake up in the morning, I think about the, 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 the drama my mother put up with and my father, how much shit they put up in Cuba. If you're Irish, Italian, Polish, whatever. If you're a drunk, whatever the fuck you are, get up! You're an American now. I don't give a fuck what you were. It's what you are, motherfuckers. You know what your parents did to fucking get you here? And you're waking up playing PlayStation. You want to go to some community college with momos. Think of what your ancestors did. Think about what they did, and then think about what you're going to do. You're going to grab your cock. You're going to eat some Chinese food. You're going to get up, and you're going to go out there and stab a motherfucker. Because that's what it means to be an American.
getting out there every day and doing it, no matter what the fucking outcome is. Who gives a fuck? They kick you in the head, you eat a roast beef sandwich, and you get back out there and do it again and again the next fucking day, cocksuckers, until somebody says, you're the motherfucking man. Don't fuck around today. Don't let them fuck with you. And don't let nobody fucking do dick, you understand? They touch you in the fucking neck, you stab them in the fucking stomach, you follow me? Don't take nothing from nobody today, today's your fucking day. You dream of days like today, you got the world by the balls, it's right here. Go out there and let these motherfuckers know, you ain't fucking around today, cause you did that already. Guess what, you gotta justify your fucking existence on a daily, you know what I'm saying? It's over, I don't give a fuck what you think or how you were raised, you gotta justify your existence daily. You gotta make sure you put your imprint on the world, I don't care if you shoplift the fucking lighter, you did something. You gotta do something, you gotta get up off that ass, you gotta write, you gotta write down your goals, do your 22 push-ups for the vet, and then you gotta take that ass to the hoop on a fucking daily. In and out, that's it, it's that easy. Let's finish this motherfucking thing. You guys got me all excited about a Friday. Like I told you. Joey Diaz, Facebook, Twitter, check yourself before you write yourself. Big dicks in your ass. Oh, okay, that's enough. I don't say you're a fucking dick you're dealing. This is my thing. I, I, I'm the young power. This is, this stay is black. A, stay black, because that's the most important thing. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> hey, Joe. The show's over. Why are we even talking?